Hi guys, welcome back to the Model 3 Man channel. Back to the tip of the day, and this is week number four. Traffic aware cruise control is the best thing they ever invented. Surmounted only by auto steer. And that's our second point today. So auto steer is of course the ability of the car to keep that center line between the lane markings and ensure that we're not ping-ponging from side to side, but that the car takes the middle line and other things being equal, that it maintains that line throughout corners, on the straights, and everywhere. Now if you put those two together, cruise control, automatic slowing, braking, and stopping, and starting, auto steer, holding the middle lane between the lines, you have a recipe for arriving at your destination completely relaxed, completely unfazed by the fact that you've had a four or five or six hour drive. It's almost as if you were a passenger in the car. But let's come to the do's and the don'ts of auto steer. So first of all, when should we not be using auto steer? Well, the instruction guide, the user manual tells us if you're in the city, if you're in a construction zone, if there are cyclists or pedestrians around, that's when we should not be using auto steer. On the freeways, on the long straight roads, on the long straight roads, even if it's not freeways, sure. But at all times, the road must have clear lane markings for this to work well. Once again, how do we activate? Well, that's easy. First of all, you need to go into controls, autopilot, auto steer, and turn it on. And you'll note there that it is beta. It's still in beta. It's not a fully released version. And you're accepting that you will use it in that condition, understanding its limitations. Then you can go and on the drive, you can double press down and it will activate auto steer. Now, please remember that if you've just purchased a new car, for the first 20 to 30 miles, autopilot is not available. The cameras are calibrating. The sensors and the radar are calibrating. But after about 25 miles, you're good to go. And then the autopilot... What? I need to turn... You said stop you have to... At this point, Dragon Lady is busy turning over the vegetables in the oven because after this, supper time. So I have to hang around here and just wait. She's done, and we're back. So if it's a new Tesla, the initial period of calibration is something that takes about 20 to 30 miles. After that, autopilot is ready for use. So how do we know that autopilot is available to us? Well, there's a gray auto steer icon. And by the way, when we're using cruise control, traffic aware cruise control, there's a gray speedometer icon. When you see those, you know that you have that feature available to you. If you double press down on the gear stalk, you're going to get both auto steer and TAC being activated together. And both of those icons will turn a bright blue. So when you see them blue, you know that you've got autopilot, which is to say auto steer and TAC. Here's the thing about auto steer. And I did an episode on this before. You have to keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't and the car senses it, a big blue flashing light will come at the top and the message will say, put your hands on the wheel. If you ignore this repeatedly, the car eventually just cancels and says autopilot not available and it's not available until you have stopped, shifted into park gear and then resumed your journey. When that blue light pulses, if you ignore it, there'll be a little chime. So when you read the notice down below, apply a light force to the steering wheel. Now, listen, don't laugh. Some people have interpreted that as a bit of force means squeezing the wheel. It's an easy mistake to make. Apply force to the wheel. Well, if you're putting your hands on it, that means squeezing. No, it doesn't. It means you apply a very, very small amount of rotational torque. In other words, resting a hand on the wheel, I suggest the lower right quadrant, that applies a bit of a weight and the car feels the resistance. Well, number two, put your hands on the wheel and just lightly jiggle it. I mean, very lightly. Here's the danger. If you do it too hard, the car pulls out of auto steer. Yes, there is a chime, but we're so used to hearing chimes all the time. The car moves out of auto steer and you'll crash. <laughs> Unless you're awake and alert, the car could move off to the side and smash into the railings. 
Always watch those icons. They should be blue and they should not be gray in color. Once again, what might cause auto steer not to work properly? Well, here's a list of some of the things. No lane markings or insufficient lane markings on the road. Such bad weather that the lane markings are obscured. The cameras are blinded and then it will not work. Cameras or sensors get covered. Ice. Frozen rain. That can do it. I've had two or three times when autopilot has cancelled on me because freezing rain had frozen over the sensors and simply prevented them from working. Sharp curves in the road or very, very rough surfaces can also prevent autopilot from working. Bright lights ahead. If you think about shining a bright light into a camera, the camera will either overexpose or it'll drastically reduce the exposure so much that certain things become dark or become black. And that's effectively what's happening to your car's cameras. With all these conditions, you begin to wonder, well, is it really worth using? Is it a feature that I should bother with given that there could be so many things that mess it up? Trust me on this, there is no more relaxing feeling than getting to the end of a long trip, traveling on freeways and highways and roadways, and having the car steer for you. Keep a center lane, keep a safe distance, stop when required, turn corners. I could go on and on and on, and you get there and you feel completely rested. So is autopilot worth using? Absolutely it is. Will it get better over time? Will Elon find clever ways of overcoming these obstacles that I've read to you? I'm sure he will. Technology never stands still. Improvements always come about. When challenges are detected, challenges are overcome. So until then, use it safely, keep your hands on the wheel, and benefit by the best autopilot in the industry. There aren't any other cars that have as effective and complete a set of self-driving or assisted driving features as Tesla's current autopilot feature. Get out there and have fun, drive safely, but always be looking at the road. Don't go smashing into the back of fire trucks because you thought autopilot was perfect. It isn't, and a human is always a better judge of road conditions, often based on a lifetime of driving. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks again for your support. Please sign up, subscribe, notify, use this referral code if you're at the point that you're about to buy a Model 3 or a Model X or a Model S. Referral codes give you additional free kilometers of supercharging. So with that, we'll see you again tomorrow for the next tip of the day.